So pretty astounding. Um, I want to bring in the sheriff who was behind this dig today and April as well. Uh, his name is uh, Eddie Verdon. He is the Osage County, Oklahoma sheriff, kind enough to uh, join us. Sheriff, I read a quote from you, and it was that Raider is 100%, in my opinion, the guy. Can you tell me a little bit more about why you think that and what you found in the dig? Well, number one, the, the very first time that I got to speak to Mr. Raider, he uh, told me that he had a fantasy to abduct a girl from a laundromat, and he told me how he would have committed that if he ever got the chance. And that was without him having any information about my case. So, you know, beginning that, that that's what started the uh, investigation that led to where we are today. Are you able to show me any of the items that you were able to retrieve from underneath those concrete slabs and then also out near the sidewalk in the two locations mm -hmm. that we dug up? I can show you the pantyhose that we found back in April. Uh, so these are them and you can still see where, where they're knotted, where they appeared to have been around probably somebody's wrist. Can you lift those up again? I've just taken down the banner that was over top of your hands while you were showing them. So if you could just show them to the camera. This is the, the set of pantyhose that had the knots in them? Yes, you can still see the knots in them and you know where they would have been bound possibly around somebody's wrist. And you can see it's a, it's a fairly small. Possibly area. A wrist or maybe ankles as well. I, I seem to recall a, d a description that it might be um, a ligature for ankles or wrists. Is that how you feel? That, that definitely they were, were probably used for that. So what were the personal effects that you found buried? Well, right now we can't reveal what those items are. Uh, we possibly can in the future, but right now we're wanting to keep that uh, unknown. Without being specific, and I fully respect um, why you have to do that, why you've got to keep that close to the vest, but without being specific about what the items were, can you characterize the items for me a little more clearly? Well, there, there would have been additional items that could have been used, uh, one in particular for restraints, uh, you know, other, other uh, personal types of items that, that somebody would have possibly used in a hobby, uh, possibly some jewelry, um, so some different uh, objects that, that we know that he used in, in different things. And were these personal items for um, women or young girls who might be a 16-year-old cheerleader? Uh, you know, there, there would have been some items that would have been definitely for, for younger uh, type people. And then there was also additional things that I would consider probably for, for an older victim. For an older one as well. Do these items comport um, with the investigation into Cynthia Kinney? Uh, you know, I, I can't say that these items will specifically go uh, to, to Cindy Kinney, but I, I do absolutely know that, that they will tie back to some case that he was involved with. You know, of course, we developed that information of where this was from a letter that, that uh, Dennis had uh, created and, and had sent to another person outside of law enforcement. Can I ask you about the, the um, writings that Dennis Rader, um, you know, had etched out for a book prior to being arrested? His, his uh, daughter, Carrie Rawson, told me that C9 means confirmed hit. Um, C9 hit means confirmed hit, and PJ means project, so project bad wash day uh, certainly would match up with, you know, Cindy going missing from her parents' laundromat. I have, absolutely, and it, it goes even a little further than that because he's got it dated in 1976. Uh, he's got it noted as project bad wash day, and then he's got it noted uh, as chapter nine, which we know is a, a confirmed hit. You know, his other, his other murders are, are also listed the same way. Uh, of course, besides those items, we, we found a lot of other information that we feel like relates to our case, and, and not just our case, but 
several other cases. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.